Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick ombre nail tutorial and I'm also going to be showing you a little trick I learned on how to get a perfectly clean manicure. So the first thing you're going to need is some acetone. You're going to need a little wooden stick to clean around the edges. You're going to need an old nail polish brush or just any brush to paint on the nail polish. Any color of your choice, this is just a pink one from Sally Hansen, it's called I Pink I Can, and any white nail polish, this is OPI's Alpine Snow. You're also going to need a base coat and top coat, but the base coat is obviously optional, I just like using a base coat, and then you're going to need a Ziploc bag. So the first thing I do is I take my acetone, this is just one from like the Target brand, it's pretty cheap and it's a huge bottle, and I'm just pouring some into the cap of the acetone. Now I use this to kind of clean around the edges of my nails, this is the little trick I was talking about, but for now I'm just going to set that aside. You're going to want to take your Ziploc bag and just lay it flat on your towel or on your desk or on your table or wherever it is you're doing this. And all I have on my nails right now is a base coat. I used the Revlon Color Stay Base Coat. It's my favorite base coat. My nail polish lasts forever when I use this. So you're going to start by painting your thumb with the nail polish color you chose. And I'm starting the ombre from my thumb all the way to my pinky. So the thumb is going to have the darkest shade of pink and my pinky is going to have the lightest shade of pink. So I'm just going to do one coat let it dry and then do my second coat and the little trick I was talking about is I take my thumb and I dip it into the cap where I have the acetone in it and then clean around the edges of your fingernails now when you do this I do recommend painting your thumbs last so you can use your left thumb on your right hand and your right thumb on your left hand but for the sake of this tutorial I painted my thumb first but yeah, you just paint your thumbs last, that way you can have a perfectly clean manicure on each of your nails. And then when you go paint your thumb, you can clean around the edges with the little wooden stick or a q-tip or anything like that. So that is a trick I learned and then you have perfectly clean nails because you dipped your little thumb and cleaned around the edges. So for your second finger, the index finger, you're going to want to take your pink nail polish and blob a dot on the Ziploc bag. And then take your white nail polish and dip one dot as well. You're going to take your little old nail polish brush and then mix the colors together. Now I recommend doing this in a room where you don't have your fan on or the AC isn't like blasting on you while you're doing this because it, the nail polish can get thick pretty quickly. So that's my suggestion so that it doesn't goop up and get nasty. And also you should work pretty quickly so that it doesn't thick, thicken up or anything like that. So here I'm just adding the top coat, I mean the first coat and then I'm letting it dry and then adding the second coat and then I'm going to clean around the edges with my thumb again. Now if you don't want to dip your thumb into acetone, if you're not, you know, that's not your style, you can just dip the wooden stick into the acetone and then clean around your fingers. So this is what the second nail looks like. As you can see, it's just about a shade lighter than your thumb. Okay, so for your third nail, you're just going to blob about the same amount of pink as you did the first time. And when it comes to the white nail polish, this time you're going to add two blobs of the white. Like before you added one, this time you're going to add two. And you're going to do this each time your nail changes. So when you get to the fourth nail, you add about the same amount of pink as you did the first time, only you're going to add three dots of white instead of two. And then with your pinky, you add four dots of white instead of three. Now the reason you have to constantly start over, like start with a new blob of pink and then add um, white nail polish is because it doesn't get goopy and tacky that way because if you were to just continue to add white nail polish to the blob you already had on the Ziploc bag, it would probably get really thick really quickly. So this way you get a, a more smoother application. So here I'm just painting my fourth nail letting it dry and then adding a second coat and cleaning it around. I'm just doing the same thing on each of my nails. Just adding an extra blob of white to the pink. I'm 
sure you understand. I don't know if I'm um, explaining it pretty well, but I'm sure you understand. So after you've done painting your pinky, you should have something like this. Of course, you can use any different color you want. But right now, all I'm going to do is add my top coat. I use the Revlon Color Stay Top Coat. This is probably the best top coat I've ever used because even if you get like any mistakes on your nails, like there's a bubble or a bump, for some reason when you use this top coat, it like smooths everything out and makes everything look nice and even. I love this top coat. It kind of like minimizes the mistakes on your nails and it looks amazing and it also leaves your nails like extremely extremely glossy I, I just love it so this is the finished manicure I just think it looks so nice and it beats trying to find like five different shades of pink nail polish to achieve an ombre nail look it's just so simple because you're using only two nail polishes I hope you like this guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye